The transatlantic slave trade stands as one of the most tragic and dehumanizing chapters in human history. For over four centuries, Europeans orchestrated a system of slavery that involved the capture, transportation, and enslavement of millions of Africans. This video aims to explore the motivations behind European involvement in the slave trade and the methods employed to perpetuate this abhorrent practice. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we delve into important historical topics that have shaped our world. In today's video, we will explore the deeply troubling subject of why and how Europeans enslaved Africans. By understanding the motivations and methods behind this dark chapter in human history, we can gain insight into the enduring impacts of slavery and work towards a more inclusive and just future. Throughout this video, we will examine the historical context that led to European involvement in the transatlantic slave trade. We will also explore the motivations that drove Europeans to target Africans as a source of labor and the methods employed to perpetuate this abhorrent practice. The origins of the transatlantic slave trade can be traced back to the 15th century when Portuguese explorers began venturing along the West African coast. At that time, Europeans sought to establish trade networks and secure valuable commodities, including gold, spices, and later, sugar. As demand grew for labor-intensive crops, such as sugar, tobacco, and cotton, the need for a large workforce became increasingly apparent. Africa's proximity to Europe made it a convenient source of labor. The relatively short distance facilitated the transportation of enslaved individuals across the Atlantic Ocean. Slavery was not a new concept in Africa. Various African societies practiced different forms of servitude, including indentured labor and prisoner of war enslavement. Europeans exploited these existing systems, transforming them into a large-scale, racially-based system of chattel slavery. Europeans developed ethnocentric and racist beliefs, considering Africans as inferior and suitable for enslavement. This mindset, coupled with the economic motives, provided a rationale for the exploitation of African labor. The process of capturing Africans for enslavement was brutal and dehumanizing. Europeans often relied on various methods to secure captives. European slave traders frequently partnered with African intermediaries to launch raids on villages, capturing individuals through armed conflict. Many African states also participated in the slave trade, capturing and selling individuals from rival ethnic groups. Europeans established coastal forts and trading posts, where they exchanged goods such as firearms, textiles, and alcohol for enslaved Africans. African traders, known as middlemen, would bring captives to these trading posts, facilitating the exchange. Some Africans were enslaved due to debt or as a form of punishment. This practice allowed Europeans to exploit existing power dynamics within African societies and coerce individuals into servitude. The Middle Passage refers to the horrific journey endured by enslaved Africans across the Atlantic Ocean. This leg of the slave trade was marked by extreme cruelty and suffering. Enslaved Africans were crammed into tight, unsanitary spaces below deck, often in chains. The lack of proper sanitation, ventilation, and adequate food and water led to rampant disease, malnutrition, and death. The mortality rates during the Middle Passage were alarmingly high. Roughly 10 to 20 percent of enslaved Africans perished during the voyage due to disease, suicide, or harsh treatment. Enslaved Africans displayed remarkable resilience and resistance during the Middle Passage. Acts of rebellion, such as shipboard revolts and suicide, were acts of defiance against their captors. Upon arrival in the Americas, enslaved Africans were subjected to a life of forced labor, repression, and dehumanization. Africans were predominantly used as laborers on plantations, cultivating cash crops like sugar, tobacco, coffee, and cotton. This exploitative system allowed European colonies to accumulate vast wealth. European powers enacted laws, such as the Code Noir and Slave Codes, to establish a legal framework that perpetuated the institution of slavery. These laws denied basic human rights to enslaved Africans, treating them as property rather than individuals. Enslaved Africans and abolitionist movements fought tirelessly against the system of slavery. Acts of resistance ranged from individual acts of defiance to organized rebellions, ultimately contributing to the abolitionist movements in the Americas. The European enslavement of Africans during the transatlantic slave trade was driven by economic interests, racial prejudice, and the exploitation of existing power dynamics. The capture, transportation, and enslavement of millions of Africans were marked by immense suffering, death, and the profound dehumanization of an entire population. 
Understanding this dark chapter in history is crucial for acknowledging the lasting impact of slavery and working towards a more just and inclusive future. To effect change, we must confront the legacies of slavery that persist in our societies today. This includes advocating for educational reforms that promote accurate and comprehensive history curricula, supporting organizations that empower marginalized communities, and engaging in open and honest conversations about race and privilege. By amplifying the voices of those affected by historical injustices and fostering empathy and understanding, we can contribute to dismantling systemic racism and building a better future for all. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and join the discussion in the comments section below. Let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and how we can collectively work towards a society free from the shackles of discrimination and inequality. Together, we can make a difference.